G'day everyone, today we're in the van tying knots. I'm gonna show you how to tie an FG knot, which is simply the best leader knot you can use. So I've got my bait cast set up here. This is 24 kilo platypus super braid. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click my reel into free spool and put that on the ground. And then what I need to do is create a loop with the braid. And that needs to be long enough to be able to wrap around your fingers to hold tight to wrap around the leader. Now my leader, I'm gonna use 80 pound platypus hard armor tough leader. And you need to take enough of that off that you can sit it underneath your feet to lock the leader in place. So we'll do that now. So it's about, about that much. Just sit that, so I'm gonna put my foot on the spool and then my other leg I can actually use to keep tension on the line. So to create the loop with your hands, we're going in between our middle fingers just like that and you need to wrap it around a couple of times to be able to keep tension on it and then put it around your thumb and your index finger to create the area we're going to put our leader into so once we've done that we can bring our leader forward and put it underneath that bit of line and now you can just simply rotate from one side to the other so we're going around the right side, around the left side to create that Chinese finger trap effect that the FG is based on. So once we've done that, and you, if you need a little bit more um, tag, which we do, just sit it in my um, mouth there in between my teeth, and that way we can continue doing our wraps from left to right. Now there's no set length on the FG knot, it's just whatever you feel. Um, I usually do mine about 20 mil long, but every so often, just pull that series of wraps down. Now, I actually rather have a bit of space in between my wraps rather than close together, because I think that knot beds down a lot better onto the leader. Once you think you've got it long enough, and I reckon that's about long enough, we can hold the tag with our finger again, and I'm gonna let go of the braid ends, and I'm just holding that piece in place so it doesn't undo. And what I wanna do is just do one half hitch around both the braid and the leader. So we're doing that now, so we're bringing that tag end of the braid, just like that. Not that you can see, but I'm holding it in my teeth. And once you've done that half hitch, it doesn't need to be super strong or super tight because when you pull that main line end, it's going to bed the knot down. Now to stop it coming undone, what we need to do is do a series of half hitches again around the, both the braid and the leader. And I usually do six or seven and that stops it coming undone. There's so many different types of ways to tie FG knots on the internet. But what I found is this one is not only quick and easy to tie, it doesn't undo after lots of casting. And as you all know, I do lots of cod fishing, which means long days of lots of casts. And this one survives until the leader is actually too short after lure changes, it doesn't ever come undone. So. As with the length of it, there's no real hard and fast rule. So, you know, six or seven half hitches just stops the knot coming undone. And, you know, if you have one or two of those half hitches come undone, you haven't weakened the knot or, you know, you haven't got that chance of it coming undone. So once you think you've done enough, you can give it another pull and that's it done. So. What I'm gonna do is just chop that braid tag off. And now, I used to be scared about trimming down the mono tag, but because this one doesn't come undone, and you can make that 80 pound travel through those guides really smoothly, you can trim it off really close. And that's it, job done. 
So I know I was a little bit daunted by the FG knot to start with, but hopefully that's shown you that it is a very simple and quick knot to tie. And it is without a doubt the best knot for the lightest braid um, to the heaviest braid. You will not regret learning the FG.